Hola. Eh, no. Hello. Hola, no, hola. No, no. Bueno, hola. Um, <laughs> Lightspeed Spanish. Hello. This is podcast number 32 for Early Intermediate. And today we're talking about all of the variations of poco, pequeño, eh, grande, muy, mucho. Lots of stuff. You count numbers like um, German people, like one, two, three, like this. And I'm going to tell you why. Because? Because I spent a year and a half teaching people from the Czech Republic. And ah. they all did this and I picked it okay. up and now I like it. Yeah, because I know German people. Go and Hanspi. One, two, yeah. Hanspi does that as well. And with sometimes one, two, three. I do this side. Hanspi's my student. He, he's from um, Switzerland. Hello, Hanspi. He'll be watching Hola, this. Hanspi. <laughs> Hola, Hanspi. <laughs> So he does that, I've seen that. Mm -hmm. It's peculiar at the beginning, it's like, we go like this, don't we? Mm -hmm. And this here in the UK is good. So when they used to say to me, I'd say, how many? <laughs> They'd like, oh, you're happy about it, I don't, but I want to know how many. No, it's one. But you started with podcast number 32. <laughs> I didn't know. I was like, what's the match there with it? Is it? It's good. <laughs> okay, bien. Me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> Like this, yeah. <laughs> like this video. Subliminally. Subliminally. <laughs> Please like this video, yeah. Okay. Please don't appearing everywhere. <laughs> We've been ah, a yeah, bit yeah. <laughs> Bueno. Except for that one person that always dislikes our videos. Oh, we have, yeah. We have a follower. A follower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. I don't yeah. follow it's a, um, stalker more like, isn't it? That always dislikes our videos. But from the moment I, I, I upload the video, <laughs> about three seconds later, dislike. The girl, you haven't even watched it. <laughs> we go, hello. <laughs> I but, don't like his hair. Like the man who <laughs> always complains that I don't look at the camera, that I'm always looking at Cynthia. Always, every time. He doesn't look at us. He doesn't care about <laughs> us. Always. He doesn't care about his audience. Oh, come on, give me a break. I'm looking at Cynthia because she's beautiful. Oh, okay. thank you, hon. You're welcome. Ok, bueno, Cintia, que no podemos hablar en español ahora porque tú ¿En has... español? En... No. Vale. Porque tú has entablado un, una conversación rara de vale. dedos. Vale, vale. Ok. No más, conversación de dedos. Vale. So, one of the things that we've noticed um, in the years that we've been teaching is that people get very mixed up with, with the difference between muy and mucho and mass just as a starter okay muy mucho and <laughs> just mas. as a starter just as a starter yeah <laughs> oh please okay? sí. muy mucho and mass si sí. no because I've got other words what I mean is just okay. as a starter right. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that we get mixed up with more things but just as a starter for our conversation do you mean I was like you're going to be harsh on them <laughs> just as a starter you can <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Is it beginners? No, this is early in the meantime. Ah, okay. Okay. So, let's just talk about the difference between <laughs> Cynthia, please. <laughs> Come on, it's late. Muy, Concentrate. mucho and mas. Right, sí. what I've heard is that people getting, you know, muy is very. <laughs> okay? We can take that. <laughs> yeah. Next and one. mucho is a lot. Okay, and really there shouldn't be any reason to mix them up except for one problem about Spanish. And the problem is that many verbs that we use, we would use ser to be in English, Spanish speakers use tener. Yes. N and this oh, is okay. where the problem uh -huh. lies. Tener miedo, uh -huh. tener hambre, uh -huh. tener frío. Mm -hmm. sí. Tener sí. prisa. Tener prisa. Yeah. So what happens sí. is some people, what they're doing, and this happens when you... When you still at the point where you're translating the sentence from English straight into Spanish. And this can catch you out because sometimes it isn't the same way. So people will say, tengo muy hambre. Uh -huh. Yeah? Sí. Because they're thinking, I'm very hungry. But of course, in Spanish it isn't that. It's, I have a lot of hunger. That's what you're saying. Tengo mucha hambre. Yeah? So that's the first thing. It's always to just take that little moment to think, is this is this a, a to be verb or really is it a tener verb? Yeah, that happens a lot. Okay. Vale. But there's another phenomenon 
I don't know how you say it. Is that with an N or with an M? M. M, phenomenon. Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay. Put in the comments if it's not. Okay. You're, you're the English one. I don't know. Uh, in okay. Spanish, nothing. Phenomeno. Right. Phenomeno. Okay. Phenomeno. Use that. <laughs> it's right. the phenomeno. Phenomeno. And that is when people use the word mas instead of muy. Okay. And I think I know where this comes from. But it, for example, people will say, um, was the was the house big? Era una casa grande, and they would say, "Sí, sí, sí, más grande." Yeah, and and I've heard a, okay. a lot, a lot, and I was thinking, well, where's that come from? I don't know. I'm trying to think in English. It would be very big. Uh, what what I think it I'm comes from is when they've seen this sentence, "Qué casa más grande?" Okay, and what a very big house. That's how it translates. Ah. Okay, so they think that mas grande means very big, but of course it doesn't because it, the real it, okay. in English that's how we say it. But you're saying, what what a house more big? Que casa mas grande, uh huh. But translation, what a very big house. No. Oh, what a big house. Yeah. Yeah. So. What a big house would be que casa tan grande. Mm -hmm. Que casa tan grande. What a big house. What a very big house. Que casa más grande. Que casa más grande. Uh -huh. Yeah, what a very big house. Yeah. So that's where it comes from. But you can't, you can only use that in that expression. Okay? Sí. It's like a surprise. Whoa, what a, you know, que, que hombre que más. Que hombre más. Amable. Ah, oh, I didn't have the face for that. That was a, a guapo, no? No. No. Es decir, que hombre más estúpido. Oh! <laughs> Vale. Yo, I was like, okay. Okay, oh, I'm amable. <laughs> <laughs> You're much better though. Yeah, positive. Okay, so that's that's where that's this what a very something. Yeah? But if you want to say um, the house is very big, then you have to say muy grande. Sí. Yeah? So muy for grande. descriptions then. Because if you if you don't, then you're saying más grande and then a Spanish ear is going to be waiting for que as a comparison. Bigger than. Yeah, ¿qué tal el restaurante? Oh, es un restaurante más grande que los demás restaurantes, or something like that. Yeah, so sí. that's that's sí, what the way it's an unfinished uh -huh. sentence. If you it don't, be, it would sound like, oh yeah, it's bigger, and then like the bigger, bigger than, <laughs> yeah, bigger, <laughs> yeah, it's bigger. So be careful with that. Okay, so. Very, when, really, when we use very in English, very comes out in, in Spanish, except when it's with tener, then it's going to be mucho. Sí. Yeah? And then with o the mucho. mas, mas, if you're going to use mas, it's, you, you're going to have to add something to it. Yeah? And then you, you were talking to me about uh, the difference between poco and poquito. Yeah. But I don't know where the problem is. And pequeño. Okay, okay. Po poco and poquito, is there a problem there? No, no, I just wanted poco to... Poco and poquito. I wanted you to explain how, as a diminutive, how it makes things smaller. Oh, you can say, but you've got poco, poquito, poquitito. <laughs> you can even take, you know. Onwards, down. Well, no? poquitito. If you say poquitititito, or poquitissimo, no. Poquitissimo, no. Poquitito. Poquitito. So, more itos, the more itos, the smaller it gets. Okay, but it's not common to put more than no, two. No, poquitito. Poquitito. Yeah. Two. Poquito, poqui it's, it's just the ito at the end. Poquitito. Yeah. And it happens the same with chico, no? Chico, chiquito, chiquitito. You and I know. Chico, ch sí. chiquitito. Mm -hmm. Ah, something else about houses. And I think they use this in Latin America and they used to, well, in Spain, particularly. Um, like grandparents mm -hmm. would use it, like that generation. Maybe even the generation of my parents would say that. But, for example, to say big, they would say hermosa mm -hmm. instead of... So hermoso, if, if I say, y que casa más hermosa, that would mean what a big house. So instead of beautiful, would be. Mm -hmm. And small would be chico or chica. Um, un niño chico. It, it, well, depending on the context, mm -hmm. but it could it could mean a small boy. Mm -hmm. O una niña, 
Una habitación muy chica. A very small room. Your grandmother used to use that as yes. well, didn't she? Just because I know they use it in some parts of uh, Latin America because I've yeah. heard it. Mm -hmm. I don't know where now, but I've heard it. So mm. that's confusing sometimes because I've been asked before. And I, sure. I know because my grandparents used to say mm -hmm. And you got confused once when my grandmother yeah. said something about... Um, una, una habitación muy hermosa. Uh -huh. or and a I person. was thinking a very, a very beautiful room. When you said that means big. Or if you say, oh, qué, qué hermoso está tu hijo. It means how big he is now. Mm. Like he's grown up, not big. Okay. See. It's valuable to know. So just, yeah, just in case you hear it, so just put it at the back of your yeah, head. You could be thinking you're giving a compliment. Ay, es muy hermosa. Sí. <laughs> I, I've, um, some people use it, like my age as well. Mm -hmm. Not very often, but I heard often. I have to say often because I say often because in the Northeast they say often. And I've copied that, but often that would be that should be the proper way. Um, no? Según quién? Uh, the Oxford uh, Real Academia, <laughs> Cambridge. Okay. Right, so. Right, moving yeah, on to moving on. the difference between un poco, poco, pequeño. Sí. Okay. Again, just it's just the things that that we hear. Uh, with our students as they're learning and it's a just usual learning process but they get mixed up between the difference between pequeño and poco okay so they'll say for example um, um, do you take do you take milk in your coffee and they'll say si um, un pequeño yeah okay instead of un poco un poco right so nice way to think about it is poco is the opposite of mucho. Okay, so mucho, poco. So it, that tends to be talking about um, quantity, right? The quantity of something. So you can have mucha comida or poca comida. Quantity, yeah? Typically. Whereas pequeño is the opposite number of grande, no? And that tends to be dimension. Dimension, yeah? So una casa grande, una casa pequeña, all right? So that's the first thing. So one is qu tends to be quantity, I'm saying this right, yeah? You in agreement? Uh -huh. yeah? I agree. And one is dimension. Okay, so the last thing we'd like to cover is the difference between poco and un poco, okay? There's a big difference. And let me give you the two sentences. Yo hablo un poco de español. Yo hablo poco español. Big difference, no? I speak a little Spanish. Un poco de español. And I speak little Spanish. Mm. Yo hablo poco español. So the difference is that un poco means a little bit. Okay? And if you say to a Spanish speaker, Yo hablo un poco de español, that's it. Yeah? <laughs> I think we mentioned this before. They're going to speak at full volume because... With for subjunctive and all. Un poco de, un poco de... Hey, listen, hey, I speak, a, I speak a bit of English. That's it. Off you go. Toma. But if you say, hablo poco español, that is, I speak a little English. That means I speak hardly any English, we would say. Yeah? And so that's very different. That's a lot less. So if you say... Un poco de leche, that's a little bit of milk. But if you say poca leche, that's hardly any. Yeah. So that's the difference. So you've got to be careful with those two. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. sí. I agree. ¿Estás de acuerdo? Estoy de acuerdo. Liking it. <laughs> or number one. Or number one. Yeah. <laughs> bien. <laughs> like this video. <laughs> and for the man who owns that's yours and dislikes dislike the man. this video <laughs> no we like you anyway we like you yeah at least yeah. you watch love yeah 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 i don't even know if he watches us maybe just dislikes no. it don't, like, on, it. don't like a look at him <laughs> okay muy bien entonces so oh, the, the the help sheets will contain this and lots of lots of ex um um extras uh, Extras? No, not, that's not the word. No. Lots of exercises 
The help sheets this time are going to be very much about you doing a mountain of exercises, okay? Awesome. Small amount of grammar here, yeah. and lots of exercises to get you practicing, okay? Bien, entonces, nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós. Mm -hmm.